Hey, and welcome back to Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy Swing Breakdowns. We started a new YouTube page recently. Uh, just wanted to break free a little bit from, not break free, but just have separate a separate channel from Lockdown Brewers. Um, this channel, Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy, is brought to you by, of course, Lockdown Brewers. So make sure you, of course, subscribe, listen uh, to Dom, Dom Catronio and I always break down the Brewers daily podcast right now. We're doing three days a week during the lockout. Um, but make sure you guys are subscribing and continuing to tune into that. Uh, we had a great interview with Sophia Minert yesterday. Uh, and so make sure you always are up to, up to date on all your lockdown Brewers content. Um, so we are going to be breaking down some videos from this channel. Now, make sure you, uh, subscribe helps us out, helps out the channel if you subscribe um, and obviously uh, spread the word. Um, this is where I just simply break down videos that you guys send in. Happy to do it, love doing it. Former major leaguer, former scout doing this. And um, just want to also mention that it is also brought to you by Maggie Rotino Real Estate, the name in Southeastern Wisconsin for real estate. If you are in the market to buy or sell a house, make sure you're hitting up my wife. Make sure you're DMing her on Instagram. You can find her on Instagram, Maggie Rotino. So I'm going to get right into it. I am going to break down. This is a good one to break down. I think this is, uh, you can, you can see some things going on in the swing. This was sent in by John Cleaver that happens quite a bit with, um, with kids of this age. Right. So I think here's the swing right away. Okay. Let's look at that again. So, uh, John Cleaver, I think this is his son. We're just going to go ahead and again, we're just going what this swing shows is that you're, he's just going forward and down into the ground. Okay. So what we want to see, and here's the swing, kind of the model swing um, below. This is Remy Sweet. He was the was, uh, Racine County player of the year in 2021 for Union Grove High School. He's going to Bryant Stratton Junior College next year. He's going to play in the pros someday. This kid's going to get signed someday. Uh, this is probably the best swing I've ever worked with. As a coach, um, I've worked with a lot of kids. I've been working with kids for the last 20 years in Racine. Um, but this is by far and away the best swing that I've coached. And this is one heck of a kid as well. So what you're going to see from Remy on the bottom, we're going to actually back, back this up and take a look at uh, John. But I just wanted to show Remy's swing, both swings in full speed. Now we're going to break them down a little bit. You see John, John swing. What we're seeing here is we're just going forward. What I want to see is a little bit of a movement back again, that negative move back. Right. And I'm going to illustrate that with a little arrow here. We don't see that he's going back. He's just going down straight forward and then down into the ground, which I don't mind. I, I like that he's going down to the ground, but I want to see a little negative move, move back. What that does is allow the hitter to see the baseball and kind of read the pitch as he's going back a little bit. And it also gathers that athletic move. It allows you to gather that, that momentum. It allows you to gather the force into the back inside part of the heel. So as you're reading the pitch going forward, you're still maintaining that pressure into that back inner part of that back inside heel. So now you can read the pitch as you're going forward um, into the ground, ready to uh, deliver the barrel and start uh, kind of delivering the, the barrel from the ground up. Okay. So, <clears throat> so you can see Remy does a really good job of doing that, right? He gets back and watch how that back hip. So he gets back and you'll see, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute, but you'll, you'll see something interesting from Remy. Once he's back, that back hip kind of travels towards the pitcher, right? Similar to almost like a golfer, how that back hip travels back towards the target. Um, maintaining his posture but let's take a look from here uh, John Cleaver is just kind of sitting into the ground which I and that okay I want the other thing I was going to illustrate here was that back elbow that back elbow is pre-slotted what I would do with him is I would get that back elbow up simply get that back elbow up and tell him to keep it there okay because this kid has extreme mobility in that external, he, he has extreme external rotation as he delivers the barrel. And you'll see what that does is allowing the barrel to kind of travel underneath the ball. And it kind of gets real sloppy as he starts to deliver the base, the, the barrel to the ball. And you'll see, he's going to actually miss the, the pitch off the tee here. Simple fix, get that elbow up and tell him to arm wrestle that bat down. 
he will not be able to arm wrestle that bat down. He w- he's going to be so used to slotting that elbow too far, too much external rotation into past that back hip. You'll see the difference here that I'm talking about. See how, so watch that back elbow. Okay, so now Remy is going to keep that back elbow up in the same spot. See how that back elbow's up. And then, okay, let's back that up just a hair. What we're going to see here from, Cleaver, look at this back elbow right here. I'm pointing it out with the mouse. This back elbow is so far, exter- his externally ro- his shoulder is so far externally rotating that his barrel is going to get sloppy and underneath the ball. It gets to be a long swing. You lose barrel control. We call that losing the barrel. You see this every once in a while from kids this age, especially because they're so hypermobile in that shoulder. And then that back elbow can slot too far. You want it to be about even with this back hip. So it's only a few inches too far, but it is a big deal if that um, barrel drops below. You'll see on the on the top, I'm sorry, on the bottom. You'll see on, the, so I'm, I'm illustrating here how the barrel is getting underneath the baseball too early. Now look at Remy, perfectly slotted elbow right here, back hip, back elbow, back knee, all in line. And he is not, too far advanced with this back elbow does that make sense i think that uh pretty pretty well illustrates it and if you notice look at the barrel it's staying up ready to attack the ball this way um again you don't want the barrel to get too far underneath too early and you see this barrel work underneath the baseball and like i said it gets real sloppy so that is perfectly on plane he actually missed this pitch one of one of the few remy misses up at the hitting center in racine um but just a perfect swing. Remy's got the best swing I've, I've seen. So a uh, couple things, again, just to recap with, with John Cleaver here, I would simply l- encourage him to make a negative move back and then keep that back elbow up. A couple of simple, simple adjustments um, in theory, but they're harder to make than, than you think. So, um, and go ahead and, and again, I would arm wrestle that arm wrestle the bat down and, and kind of count and make sure you're keeping the barrel up, keeping the barrel up as long as you can to deliver that, that barrel on top of the ball. That's what it's going to feel like, like he's chopping wood, but he's probably going to be right on playing with the baseball. So that's it. Coaches, uh, not coaches corner anymore. It's called Vinny Rotino baseball Academy swing share. That's a long name. So anyway, I don't know if that's going to be attractive on a, on a hashtag. So, um, please be sure to, to subscribe and to follow uh, the channel here on YouTube and we will see you next time. Also brought to you by, if you guys are interested in needing some extra swing attention, some one-on-one attention, make sure that you are subscribing, not subscribing, but reaching out, you can reach out to me, my coach, Jack, she his, uh, his, his number one assistant, Scott Brooks, good friend of mine, both are really good friends of mine. Some of my, couple of my best friends in life taught me the game growing up, always uh, kind of leaned on them. Even when I was playing professionally would go back and hit with those guys. They're excellent, phenomenal hitting coaches. Be sure to, to kind of uh, reach out. If you guys are in the market, they, they run hitting clinics all winter. So um, reach out to me, DM me on Twitter. All right. Have a great rest of your night.